To find the derivative of y equals natural log of x to the fourth, we have two different options. First option is to just use the chain rule. We'll make this y equals the natural log of u with u equal to x to the fourth. Since we know the derivative of natural log of u to be 1 over u, and we know the derivative of x to the fourth to be 4x four cubed, we can just put those together and get 4x cubed over x to the fourth and simplify to 4 over x. Alternatively, we also know some log rules that the natural log of x to the fourth is equivalent to y equals 4 times the natural log of x. So since we know that the derivative of natural log of x is just 1 over x, the 4 is just a constant out in front, so the derivative of a constant times a function is just the constant times the derivative of the function. 4 times 1 over x, or 4 over x. And either way, you get the same answer. In this case, we'll need to write this as the natural log of u with u equal to cosine of x. So we have y equals L and u with u equal to cosine x. And we'll take the derivative of both sides, or both of these equations. The derivative of natural log of u is 1 over u. And the derivative of cosine x is negative sine x. So we end up with negative sine x over cosine x, which gives us negative tangent x. In this last example, we'll use the same process. y equals the natural log of u, with u equal to sine x cosine x. Derivative of natural log of u is 1 over u times the derivative of sine x cosine x, which can be found using the product rule. Sine x times the derivative of cosine x. Plus cosine x times the derivative of sine x. Derivative of sine x is cosine x, so this second term becomes cosine squared x. And derivative of cosine is negative sine, so this term becomes minus sine squared x. And using a double angle identity, this becomes the cosine of 2x. u is just sine x cosine x, so we end up with cosine of 2x over sine x cosine x.